In this video, we are going to talk about hand tracking or let's say hand detection using the MediaPipe and OpenCV package in Python programming language. So please stay tuned. But before going further, remember that in previous videos, we have talked about how to read from webcam or let's say a stream from webcam. So if you're not familiar with these lines, you can check that video, which there is a link in the description below. So now if I run the code, you can see I can stream from my webcam properly. Now we want to use a package called MediaPipe, which provides a couple of solutions for face detection, face mesh, iris, hands, pose, and etc., which we are going to cover some of them in future videos. And you can install this package with pip install MediaPipe. So first of all, I import MediaPipe as MP, and then I simply type mp.solutions because this media pipe provides you different solutions for different stuff, for example, for face detection, for face mesh detection, and etc. And one of those solutions is hand tracking, doing some stuff for hands. So we simply type mp.solutions.hands and we stored that, for example, in a variable, let's say called mp underscore hands. And also because during the process of showing our image, we need to draw some stuff on our image. I mean, the hands that have been detected, I want to show them. So we are going to use utilities, And I want to call that and store that in a variable, let's say called mp underscore drawing. And now it's time to apply the hand tracking model. So as you can see, whatever we are reading from the webcam, we want to apply the hand tracking model on that image, on that frame. So I simply want to apply the hand tracking model on our image. Now we simply type mp underscore hands and I simply use the hands function. mp underscore hands is this variable which we have defined here. And then from that, we want to call the function calls hands. That's it. And after that, we are going to process the image, which is our frame. So we are going to pass our image, or let's say our frame, to this model in order to detect the hands. And I store the result in a variable, let's say called results. But there is a thing that you should pay attention, and that thing is that OpenCV, you are using the OpenCV in order to read from webcam. And as you know, OpenCV works with BGR system, means blue, green, and red. But a lot of packages like MediaPipe uses RGB system, not BGR. So OpenCV is using BGR, but MediaPipe is using RGB system. So in order to get proper results, we need to convert these two systems. So we simply use CV2, which is, which is our OpenCV package. Then we simply type CVT color, which stands for convert color. We want to convert the color of our image from BGR, which is the system of OpenCV, to RGB, because we are reading with OpenCV. So the system is BGR, the OpenCV system. And now we want to pass our image to MediaPipe, which the system of MediaPipe is RGB, not BGR. So we should convert that. So we simply use cv2.color and we should pass BGR to RGB. So we want to convert our image from BGR to RGB. BGR is the system of OpenCV and RGB is the system of MediaPipe. That's it. And after that, I store that in a variable, let's say called image. So I'm updating the image. So I'm updating after converting the image from BGR to RGB, I'm updating our image. And now we are passing that to hand tracking, to hand detection model. And we store that in a variable, let's say called results. And now after detecting the hands, we want to draw annotations on our image. But again, you should remember something. And the thing that you should notice is from now on, I mean from this line to the end, we are going to use the OpenCV package for showing our image and etc. So once again, once again, we should convert our image to BGR because from now on, we are going to use OpenCV package which its system is BGR. But as you can see, we have converted the system of our image from BGR to RGB in this line in order to pass that image to MediaPipe. But now we are going, from now on, we are going to use the OpenCV package. So again, we should restore our image to BGR. So we should convert that again. So I copy this line. And here I simply want to uh, convert our image from RGB to 
BGR. So that's it. We want to convert our uh, image from RGB to BGR. And now we want to store that in a variable, let's say called image. So we are updating our image. So now our image is in BGR system, which is the OpenCV system. So now I want to simply say if there is any hand, if any hands have been detected, so I simply type if results dot multi underscore hand landmarks and this means that if any hand has been detected and maybe you ask why we are using multi hand landmarks because our model can detect multiple hands this is the reason that we are saying results results dot multi hand landmarks that's it so once again remember that the philosophy of putting this line is because you want to tell that if any hand has been detected then we are going to do some stuff then we are going to draw annotations on our image so that's it here's the reason that we put this stuff so if any hands have been detected then we are going to draw annotations for every hand so i simply type for hand underscore landmarks this is an arbitrary name you can simply type for every hand you can name it hand but i want to name it hand landmarks because it's actually landmarks of our hand so for every hand landmarks in results dot multi hand landmarks now i want to draw the landmarks so i simply type mp underscore drawing so i simply type mp underscore drawing which is this variable which we have defined here so mp underscore drawing dot draw landmarks so from this we are calling the draw landmarks function and we should pass a couple of arguments the first argument is our image which is the img variable then we should pass the landmark list which is our hand landmarks so that's it then we are going to connect the landmarks we are going to connect the dots or those landmarks so the connections so the connections is going to be mp underscore hands which is this variable which we have defined here that's it so i'm simply type mp underscore hands and dot and we want to use hand connections from this mp underscore hands that's it so now if i run the code you can see that our hand tracking model is working fine and also remember that this function has different parameters different arguments and one of those arguments is maximum number of hands it means how many hands do you want to detect for example if you pass maximum number of hands equal to two it means at last you want to detect two hands if you pass three it means at last you want to detect three hands and etc another argument which we have talked about that in the face mesh video and in the face detection video is the minimum confidence is the minimum detection confidence is the minimum confidence for detecting our hands so its initial value is 0 0.5 but for example if you increase this value to 0 0.7 it means that you are making the model for detecting the hands more strict and also there is another another argument called minimum tracking confidence which is which its default value is 0 0.5 and again if you increase that the model for tracking would be more strict so let's leave this value as it is and for example let's change this to 0 0.6 and now if i run the code again you can see now the model is working fine and you can see it works properly it detects my hands and it tracks my hand now i really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now